we as a people, when we came here, we did not have doctors that we went to. So we had people who were in our communities who had the knowledge, the uh, knowledge of medicine faith, the herbal knowledge, who would go and get the herbs and roots and stuff and make into a medicine. We got the knowledge of it from the native people because in the beginning, both of us were enslaved together. So the, the plants that they use, they introduced us, especially after they realized that we were tribal just like they were. And so we were basically one people only from two different lands. And so our bond became stronger. And, and mm -hmm. how did you yourself gain this knowledge? Uh, I just happened to have a mother mm -hmm. who had the knowledge mm -hmm. and when she talked, I listened. Wow. So a lot of these, I would say the ancestors learned from the native people. A lot of these they learn from similarity to plants that they had at home. And some of these, they just learn by experimentation. You were starting to tell me what this was. You, you said there were two names. Yep. Well, actually, and there are three names. There are three. Okay. One name is called Rabbit Tobacco. One name is called Life Everlasting. One name is called Life Alasting. Because of the two elasting names, a lot of people will drink this daily as a energy tonic, as something to enhance their livelihood. Um, back in the day, they used to use it in the Ford Motors um, um, seats as a cushion. And then um, the people were like, oh my God, I'm getting itchy. What's, what's going on here? And come to find out, it was the insects. And they didn't do the chemistry behind the Spanish moss. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you know, they had a recall. But the Spanish moss has a key component that's in it that's good for your glucose um, level as well. Mm -hmm. You can actually put the Spanish moss, clean Spanish moss, mm -hmm. in the bottom of your shoes. And it's good for lowering your high blood pressure. And the list goes on and on and on. <laughs> about the medicinal purposes of Spanish moss. You would take a little piece of Spanish moss that has not touched the ground, mm -hmm. roll it up and put it into your shoe. Hypertension. It is said that if you put too much, you have to keep track of your blood pressure because if you put too much, it will drop your blood pressure out the bottom. I wonder what it is that it does. I don't know. Right now, I have heard that they are doing experimentations with the Spanish moss for diabetes. It is called a Canaan lily. Now, with that particular plant, when people with young babies who had fevers, they would take the large leaves and wrap them in to try and help break the fever. Uh, so that is one of the plants. The thing about cotton is that it carries all kinds of medicinal purposes. And one of the medicinal purposes of the cotton, if you were to take the seed out and rinse it off thoroughly, the seed could be used as a tea. Now, the tea is good for upper respiratory problems like a cough or a cold or a flu. And then you've heard of cotton seed oil. Now, the cotton seed oil is good for blemishes as well so as wrinkles. Now, cotton, um, cotton tea could also soothe an aching stomach, and it can also increase the breast milk for a nursing mom. And you can also get honey from cotton because cotton is a flower. Let me uh, show you. Okay. That's the best way to sure. do it. Awesome. Um, okay, over here we have like packs of cotton that we have here mm -hmm. and I sell it and in the store and then we have the informational part of it that talks about the medicinal purposes mm -hmm. now in the cotton if you were to touch it 
it has very hard parts and you can touch it yourself just mm -hmm. to see and so inside of the cotton is the seed and it okay. is very seedy oh, so wow. this is the seed right here and I know on camera you can't see it because it's still kind of like covered mm. in the white and so well, I could um, feel it. Mm -hmm, you could feel it and it's very hard. Mm -hmm. So what you would do is that you would remove all the cotton from the seed mm -hmm. and then you would rinse it off thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Get about four or five of those and put them in a cup mm -hmm. and then in a hot boiling um, water and let it sit like how you would uh, do a regular tea pad mm -hmm. and you could drink that. And again, it's good for upper respiratory problems like a cough or a cold or mm -hmm. a flu. You only need four or five. Four or five is, is very um, powerful. Wow. Mm -hmm. This particular plant, you can take the leaves of this plant and crush them up real big. Wow. You take those leaves, mm -hmm. rub on you, mm -hmm. it's insect repellent. Wow. The weeping willow. You can take a stem and chew on it when you have a headache. The active ingredient that's in the inner bark of the willow tree is the same active ingredient that, it, that you find in aspirin. That tree is called a sweet gum. Just as you took the stem to chew on for a headache, if we're walking in the woods and all of a sudden you start getting an upset stomach, you would chew on it to help settle your stomach. During the period of enslavement, uh, the white doctors realized that the ancestors were not going to them for, for medical care. They were going to the old grannies in the quarters. And what these doctors started doing is watching and following them when they went and picked their herbs. And then they politely took them back and experimented with them. And that's why a lot of these medicines today are in the New England Medical Journal and you'll never realize it. The science part is good, mm -hmm. but at the same time, science can be our worst enemy. Right, because it's repackaged yeah. and you, it reduces access. Right, even yep. though it, the intention is to increase access, and we yep. think it increases access, but what it does, it allows us to control access. Yes, yes, yep. If we don't grasp a little understanding of what's around us, if you look at the economy today, it is very similar to the economy of 1927 28. If we go into another depression, most of us is not going to have money to go to CVS and Repco. So if you don't have some knowledge of what to come get, we're just going to be hurting. So the ancestors were very smart and they knew the secret to a lot of different plants. Um.